Hello, hello, welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources and we're gonna try to avoid the disaster which is looming just over our head and uh, we're gonna try to salvage what's salvageable. Now, if this is gonna be successful or not, well, stay tuned and let's check it. So what's the plan? Uh, first, move all the people we can to the um, to the town that we have heating in, because other town is not heated and it's not going to be heated for a while. Uh, some infrastructure projects are on the way, but unfortunately we won't finish them. Uh, infrastructure being heating, heating plant, heating plant is supplied, but we need way more people than we can afford at the moment, which is zero. And I was even thinking of doing something immoral. Maybe we should do that. I'm gonna do something immoral. I'm gonna be moving some people from other towns to our city. Uh, this is the best way I can think of without actually um, getting another half a million loan. And uh, we're gonna try to do that. Uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. And boy am I desperate. Uh, right, we technically we could just get more loans, but uh, I really really don't like loans. So let's see what we can do with these beeps here. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna try to get, because um, there's a lot of a lot of issues, first of all, uh, even in the Legion port, we have a lot of sick people, and they're gonna have to be cured, uh, or at least we're gonna attempt to do so. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna first real quickly transfer a lot of... Um, a lot of people. What is the living condition of this building? Let me just check real quickly. Quality of Flight's 87, and this one is 80. Eh, not ideal, but hey ho, watch me. Oh, this one is good, I believe, yes. Uh, right, so you guys can move here, and I'm gonna just get a bunch of doctors uh, living here. I don't know how many we have. Okay, really? Eight? Good, good, good guy, good boy. Okay, let's continue on and let's move uh, all of these people here. That's fine. Uh, let's close off that one. So, let's continue on with, uh, let's see how many educated people we can transfer. So, is that we don't have any more or no, no, no more room? No, more room. So, I'm gonna go and... Uh, peeps. I'm gonna transfer all the educated people here and, and hope for the best. Okay, obviously we're done here, and uh, let's just get more educated people here. Okay, you're done as well. Okay. Uh, this is just because we obviously don't have enough uh, population to do uh, everything that we need to survive. Trying to sound like a Tupac song, but okay, one more. Just wanted to make sure that all those well-educated people are moved first, because we need them the most. And now we can move everybody else. So let's go and just populate. I think we can slowly uh, proceed with this. I'm just gonna try to relocate all these people here as many as we can. And with any luck, which I doubt uh, we're gonna have, um, oh, uh, they're gonna recover the towns that we're taking people from. They're gonna recover because if we, well, we won't. We won't if we don't get those people here. So let's go and uh, do this first. Okay, and then we have more. Okay, and now let's see what else is. Okay, I think we are all the way up. The most important thing is that we have hospital up and running. And obviously I'm gonna double the population working in hospitals. So I think, I think I should do 
all in here, but just in case. Uh, let's see here. Schools, buildings without power supply, that's fine. And also, yes, 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 one other thing I forgot. We will get a loan. We will get a loan of 100,000. Mm, for a year. Actually, let's, let's just go for all in because we we need to finish some of the infrastructure project we started and also there's another thing that I need to do I need to get better um, public transport connection to our to here and I think four buses is overkill but uh, let's just, let just uh, hope for the best and there we go oh boy closing these left and right uh, we will be losing people we are losing people at the at, as we speak I will be repopulating them as much as I can no comment section tell me cheating yeah of course uh, not much we can do at this point I would be getting a loan and then repopulating everything with money which would be more or less the same thing it's just we're gonna be having this huge loan that we depend on later down the line uh, Actually, you know what? I don't even consider this cheating because, uh, come on, Soviet Union, Soviet Republic, we, we don't do this stuff here. And I'm just gonna transfer a little bit more. There we go, all the people you want. And we're not gonna be populating the um, we're not gonna be populating the new town, the third city, until we get out of this crisis. And let's see if we can um, voluntarily, uh, if we can volunteer some more people to move to our beautiful new town that is up and coming neighborhood. How many volunteers do they just can't wait to move to our new town? Well, our project town. And here we go. Oh, look at the snow. Straight away we're gonna have something to do. Plowing the snow, shoveling the snow. Okay, let's continue on. Let's go with the higher educated peeps. Okay, I guess we're done here. This just needs to start functioning because we are in a race against. Oh, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, uh, I need to cancel this. I need to cancel. Uh, I need to start having people working in the coal processing because that's the only main uh, source, only source of um, income that we have: electricity and uh, export of coal. Uh, well, both of them are affected if we are not processing that coal. Uh, here we go. Something here, here, here. And um, yeah, guys, I really appreciate the comment section. Uh, you helped so much with the uh, quality of people and living of people. And um, what I want to address here, and uh, please hit the comment section and tell me am I being crazy or not. But wh what's my plan is to keep these cities as they are. Now, university in the... Um, Hallendorf, Hallendorf, Hallendorf. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's too far from here for, for students to be traveling from here all the way there. Now if it is, uh, tell me, I uh, will be doing this test maybe even in this episode. Oh, stop closing the windows, I need mean those people. Anyway, yeah, this is, this is what we're gonna be working on. Okay, uh, let me just check those buses and uh, I will re... Uh, resettle those buses. I will be Telling these these buses? Nope. Not the bus. This is really, really not important at this time. Uh, but I will. It will be f important in the future. In the future. I'm just thinking if I maybe uh, put all these new buses to go in the wrong place. But no, they should be all coming here. And uh, yes, yes, yes. They are transporting all the people here. It might be. It doesn't matter. They can transport all the people they want here because the mine is being supplied constantly with people. And, um, yes, the mine is being supplied constantly. Let's see here. Uh, this one 
goes with this one. They're all the same, so we don't need to bother with that. Uh, right, worker without job. That's what we want to see. We need workers without jobs. Okay, and the hospital is full. Obviously, we don't have enough doctors. Let's see if we can, if anybody's gonna move in here. That should be a doctor. Let's move to the right hand side. Let's see doctors. There we go. Move you to the right hand side. You. Doctor. What in the world is happening here? We really lost so many people. But they just transferred freaking 10 doctors into this building. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, there's a lot of doctors here, and hopefully more on the way. Uh, hospital, we don't need you at the moment. Let's transfer more people, more, more doctors. There we go. Many, many more doctors, and this is the last one I think we didn't uh, pluck clean. Anybody with a degree, I want you lining up for the hospital work. There we go. Uh, right, so we have 11 people working at the moment. We have 16 being treated, 22 being treated. That's what Dad likes. There we go. Uh, of course, we're losing. We look at this 20 people we lost. We lost 20 people in the last freaking 5 seconds. Uh, I'm not even sure that if we should be speeding this up so fast because this is incredible. Temperature of the building is too low. How is this thing? This should not be a thing. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, that this is that this is too low. I still didn't uh, get all the way. Was the situation with the heating, but uh, yeah, obviously, I think this is a uh, proof that more people you have, uh, it's not per housing, per house, it's per how many people you have. This is how much you are heating. Uh, and hospital, unfortunately, is the last one in a row to be served by this. Okay, uh, right, we don't have a lot of choice here, so I'm gonna be populating buildings as much as we can to keep that heating on. This freaking thing reminds me more of uh, what's it called? Steampunk. This is steampunk I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm just populating with more and more people. Okay, we have 17 doctors. What do you want? What do you want me to do? 17 people we have here. Uh, treated. We can just speed this up and hope for the best. Uh, I will be transferring people, unfortunately, college educated people. Uh, cold doesn't know the difference. Yeah, 15, 15, and it's still, uh, uh, yeah. So, what I wanted to do also, uh, address the issue of uh, some of those smaller heating plants. Guys, if uh, this one small heating plant, because th there's a pack of uh, Polish uh, small uh, heating plants, the, the Gdańsk, I believe, and whatever, you know, different towns, and uh, it's pretty cool. I, I love the buildings and I love the idea, but <laughs> we're gonna need like 10 of those to heat the city even of this size. So, I'm not really sure how effective that would be. 17 people we still kind of so where's the where's the problem who's who's not getting heated I think ever like there's a lot of people without job I understand that but uh, overall happiness is growing slowly okay I won't say anything be but because yeah, this number is shrinking. Uh, patients waiting to be treated, uh, which is important part. And this is the... Uh, as long as this city is running up and running perfectly, uh, we should be more or less fine. Let me just see the backlog of this coal. Yes, it's slowly dropping, that's perfect, because it's being balanced, that that's what I want to see. Obviously, these conveyor belts are not to work. They are. Okay, they're exporting coal. Oh, actually, they exported coal. I think they should be 
on the way back to ships. Yeah, well, I don't know if they export the coal, but the money is recovering. Okay, uh, right, it's 20th of January, we still are losing people. Obviously, cold is the main culprit here. Come on, this was the, the place to be uh, during the summer, so come on, let's <laughs> just move here. Oh boy, okay, we do have fire department, is it on the way? Should be. I don't see trucks in there, so I'm hoping for the best. I'm kidding me, where's the fire department? Oh, okay, they're, they're putting the fire out. Okay, that's that's quite nice of you. Uh, right, uh, Jim, I'm gonna give you a little bit more. Uh, X, no, it doesn't really matter. I think it's fine here. Uh, how are we doing with the patients here? Waiting to be treated. 40. Uh, let's slow this down. Let's slow this down. Something is wrong. We are going to have enough people. We might have to go and get some more people from other towns. Uh, well, doctors. Well, so doctor, doctor. Only one doctor left. Okay. If we had dime for every time this happened. Uh, let's pause it because we're we'll just be losing people. Nobody's being healed in the hospitals. And the heating thing, heating, how can I resolve this issue? I can't. I don't see the. I can destroy the houses, but I'm not sure if I should be doing that. Uh, maybe, maybe in the new village, but uh, again, I don't think I should be doing that. Uh, da -da -da, put you here. Let me have this one. Put you here. And uh, this one. This one. Put you here. And the last one on this side of town. And let's see uh, if we can get some of those people to voluntarily move into our town in need. Town where the export happens. Um, Alright, okay. Educated people. And what's that? Uh, in this house? No. Here. Actually, probably I should pause this because uh, those educated people need to be transferred here. Okay, let's go for more. That's it, more. Nope. Nope, no, no, there we go. That's enough, more. Come on, come on, you can do it, come on. And the last one is here. Okay, that's it. Uh, we have as many as I could scrape up doctors as, I, as many as I can get and uh, let's fill in with the rest of the people just because uh, I don't even know I, I, I might I, we should probably um, cut the costs of our why are, why are people not getting here zero oh, yeah. that is going to be fun for next couple of minutes uh, let's speed this up until the people are delivered here oh, you uh, I, I need to redo the buses with, uh, um, with the students and stuff, but that, we can, that can definitely wait. Let's see the hospital again, 17. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think we're stabilizing this. Uh, temperature is too low, I understand. So obviously their capacity. Okay, I I hope for the best. Because at the moment it appears that uh, at least number of sick people has been stabilized. I would like to fill them in with uh, workers. And uh, after that... I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. 
Uh, I'm just hoping that uh, I can just check all the buildings. So this is gonna be a tricky one. Uh, shoppers waiting in front of the shop. Of course, you can get more workers here. Actually, we should probably get more workers everywhere because we have temperature really below. Yes, okay, so small temperature exchange. Uh, failure. Uh, not good now. What's the problem? Is it capacity or the size of the pipes? Um, I'm thinking that maybe the pipes cannot transfer this much heat because every one of them is 1000 megajoules or something? Is it megajoules? Joules? Megajoules? Uh, anyway, 1000 of those. And it could be that this is a taking... No, no, no. Uh, it's taking... Okay, why is this in watts? Let's try to understand this one. How we do we get uh, off course? Yeah, this is not even uh, just repopulating people. This is fighting with the winter. Just pressing more times until the winter is passed. Okay, um, how do we resolve this? Uh, obviously, bigger heat exchange uh, is a solution. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a long-term solution. The prob... Oh, sorry, heat exchange. He heating plant. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can afford it at the moment. And even if we did this exchange... Well, we can barely afford it. But um, no, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that's gonna be a future project for probably next um, next uh, next winter. But what I'm thinking that is happening here, let's see, all of these uh, workplaces should be called as the grave, tombstone, or something like that. No, they're all warm, they're all nice and toasty, and they're being heated from the same place. That's interesting. This is dwindling a bit, but uh, that's probably yeah. I think it's maximum. I think it's maximum production. Uh, for example, this one is working out nicely now. It's probably because the temperature is a little bit higher. So okay, all of this seems to be working. Uh, people seem to be staying. Uh, their loyalty, all this stuff. Okay, uh, shops were an issue. I can see here that they couldn't buy um, clothing. Uh, that would be this shop, really. That one? Oh, no, 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 that's the pub, uh, that's this one. Uh, right, well, I'll give you all five workers, so there's no queuing in front of the door. And uh, looks like the temperature, probably because the... Yeah, building temperature too low. <coughs> that's probably because of the... Uh, well, it got warmer during the day, but uh, this is not a solution. This is not a solution. So, what's with this? Okay, this one suddenly is fine. Yeah, it, it's just the temperature. I don't think we can handle this. I don't think this is enough. This one is enough to heat both of those. So, what can we do here? Uh, right, right, right. A uh, new heating plant. Obviously, that's gonna be a thing. And uh, let's check. So, we have this heating plant producing 42 gigajoules. And a uh, bigger one, 210. Obviously, the solution would be to have a bigger one. Um, I'm thinking that we have a village there, and then we have all of this here. I'm not sure if it might be an issue with the piping, uh, that the pipes are not redundant, but I don't think so. Uh, no, 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 this is the maximum usage it can be using. Temperature gauge, I'm not really, I don't understand. This is obviously temperature per uh, 100 um, cubic meters of water. Uh, means 100, uh, this is obviously temperature in Celsius, and this is the... Um, uh, how much water it can pass, maybe, uh, through this one. The bigger ones should have... Uh, let's, let's check that. Uh, financially, we are recovering, but... Um, it's a third of the episode, over third of the episode to maintain this. Um, obviously, this is not finished, but let's see here. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is the capacity of the water. Uh, how much water can pass through these pipes. And uh, obviously, when this starts to dwindle, that means that... Um, there's an issue with uh, heat transfer. Hectoliters, 1,000 hectoliters, that would be 100... Uh, yeah, that's hectoliters is, well, is 1 million liters, I believe. 1,000 hectoliters is 1 million. 1 million liters would be... 100 cubic meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think... I think I, my math might be off there, but I think I'm, I'm right here. So, and um, this one uh, can have many, much, much more. And uh, what is this uh, heating station? It has some pressure, or showing some gauge here. Um, 
Oh, it has electricity. Oh, that's the electricity from the outside. Pumping station needs to be supplied by electricity to pump the water. Uh, of course. Uh, I thought that water is pushed by the... Yeah, but you have to have intermediate pumping stations. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, February is uh, not as old. Let's see how we're doing here. Um, I don't think many people left. That's fine. So we can slowly speed this up. And maybe focus on resolving this issue. Obviously start and say... Oh, big, 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 uh, big thing we're going to be doing uh, is we're going to be specializing our construction offices. Thank you, German dude. Uh, I really don't... It's, it's initials, your nickname, but uh, thank you for this. It uh, was an eye-opening thing. Um, uh, you can specialize... I, I totally forgot about this. You can specialize, specialize your uh, construction offices. And I never did this before. So, for example, uh, conveyor pipelines, electrical wiring, so we can put uh, this guy here. Uh, only this small office. Of course, the bigger one. Let's see, do we have any space in other ones? Not really. We will have the space in the biggest one that is over there, so we can move it. So, we would specialize this small um, construction office to do only, let's say, industrial connections and wirings. Uh, they only need concrete, flatbed, uh, concrete, flatbed, dumper truck, and a mixer. No, wait, okay, let's let's see exactly what the electrical um, uh, components need. Uh, don't auto build, I just want to do this and then see what they want. What they want for this? They want electrical components still. Okay, so we. I, I thought we can plonk in in the smallest um, construction office, but it doesn't seem that it's a thing. So obviously, we need uh, for these. For this construction here, we need um, gravel, so that means dumper truck, concrete, that means concrete mixer, steel, and electrical components that both of those mean uh, open hull and cover hull. Um, trucks and plus you need a construction vehicle in this case that would be crane road crane can do all the construction on its own i believe so um we need at least five vehicles to do these and um, conveyor belts let's just see what we need for conveyor belts uh, that's fine i can do this for example oh yeah I just don't want to destroy too many trees. I'm being suddenly uh, conscious about this. Uh, mechanical components, mechanical components, yes. So it's open, closed, dumper, concrete mixer, and, um, and the road crane. <clears throat> so, more or less, as far as I can see, excuse me, as far as I can see, this small one is, uh, well, useless. Uh, it can be self-sufficient, it can be just um, either parking space for excavators and um, uh, bulldozers or refill for the other, like say, for dumper trucks, just if we need additional dumper trucks. Well, media and construction offices, they can, uh, we can specialize them in um, constructing, um, we can specialize them in constructing the um, roads. Roads, these kind of roads only require a whole bunch of dumper trucks, like a lot of dumper trucks. They need uh, one or two pavers, one or two rollers, and that's it. Uh, they need the excavator or excavator or, or uh, bulldozer, but uh, I think uh, excavator with uh, road tires would be perfect. Uh, so, actually, you know what? I will do that now. This road here it is finished. And uh, we don't have electricity here, but we will have to have. So I'm going to build one or, or commission uh, to be built one construction site, construction office. So we're going to go one, uh, let's say the small one. We said that something like this could be come. Stop acting up. Uh, so we can say one of these can be. Let's be generous with the space. This and then we're gonna go for one uh, big, big one. No, we have big. 
So let's call this one small one, and then we're gonna go for a medium one. Small one is this one. It's obviously gonna be for electrical components, and uh, I'm thinking ahead. I'm already thinking past this crisis, which I don't think we're even close to resolving, but uh, let's let's monitor that situation. Um, right, so we're gonna go for small construction office to do the cabling and uh, uh, factory connections, and we're gonna go for uh, medium size uh, construction construction office to do the roads. Now that's gonna be, I don't know. Let's throw the numbers that um, um, we threw in the comment section: two rollers, two pavers, and uh, yes, a whole bunch of dumper trucks, and probably just two excavators will be more more than enough. So that would be two, six, ten dumper trucks and uh, two excavators, two rollers, and two dumper trucks. That, that should be, that should be enough. So let's see what we lost in the meantime. Okay, fire is put out, that's actually quite good. Oh yeah, Dominica said that we should build more fire departments and I agree, I'm gonna build it here, in this town. Haha, <laughs> proud and joy, joy, joy. Um, yeah, but no. <laughs> I mean, I will build it here, but it's not gonna be uh, popular by people for a while, so... Uh, where can we put fire department? It should have access to everywhere, so obviously this side, and also have people, so... Uh, let's go for modded... Uh, should we go for full-scale or modded um, fire department? So let's go and... Uh, I should probably have checked into the how is the city doing. All these are small. Maybe well, because it's going to be a little bit bigger town. I think I'm going to go for a full scale one for this one, for example. Um, and I will connect it well with the uh, pathways, but um, I would like it to be <coughs> uh, to have a vehicle access to the main road here. So off you go. There we go. Uh, our guys can continue that. I need to really, really need to see what's happening here in our towns. Temperature is dropped again, so that could be an issue. Okay, it looks like uh, this is not required anymore, so a lot of people can go and work elsewhere. Uh, yes, we lost some people, but it doesn't look as drastic as it was before, so let's speed this up. This building is the last one. Oh, why wouldn't you get the food? Why is there a food icon there? I hope that number is shrinking. It's actually dwindling, going up and down. Why is that? No, 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 no. Is there a queue? There's a queue. Come on, guys, get to work. There's a queue, that's a problem. We have everything, but queue. We need a bigger shop, obviously. Um, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We just need more people working at the same time. I, uh, well, I hope this is going to resolve it. Um, I can see here that uh, this is shrinking at least. And here... There's no... These guys don't require meat, so that means that they're happy enough. And uh, it's still kind of dwindling around those numbers. So um, I did increase the number of sellers. I should force them to come to work. There's four of them right now. Okay, uh, this is one other thing I don't understand how it exactly works. Well, I know, I know, it's a, it's, it's a big mathematical problem. How many um, shopping spaces do you need for how big of a population? Obviously, this one shopping, uh, uh, food shop, is not enough for the town of this size. Um, I know it looks nice with... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it looks nice, I wanted it to look nice. It's a port town and it has access to sea and it would be nice to have these kind of waterfront thingies. Pub obviously is gonna work better than fine. I expect a lot of alcoholics after this crisis is over. And yes, the only reason why this is shrinking because they are leaving. Hopefully moving closer to the shop, but... Uh, Maybe I should address this. Uh, why are we losing money? Uh, power plant again. This is just seconds away since he left, but um, you know what? Maybe maybe I should just allow him. Uh, be finished, be finished, uh, because there's only f a little bit left. Uh, power plant has enough of this, enough of coal for the reserves, so that should be fine. 
Okay, this is the worst winter ever, and uh, I, I, even now we're like uh, 35, 34 minutes and 20 seconds, well, sorry, it's not really because we had a little bit of intro, this is the second segment I'm recording, uh, we had um, 35 minutes and I'm still not sure if this is going to be resolved. <clears throat> I was planning initially to get a loan, and a huge loan, but uh, I went for the, well, should I call it the opposite option, or, or cheat option, I'm fine with either. So let's build those, and let me get you a couple of more, which vehicles do I have, Polish. Vehicles. Mm, those would be here. One, two. Okay, let's go. Let's go all in uh, because uh, I would like to have a good service here. Okay, uh, still food. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. At least uh, they're not queuing that much anymore, so that means the backlog is, is kind of resolved, I'm hoping. Um, okay, so this is how we can check this out. Um, let's go for one person here. So he's currently... Uh, he needs food, uh, one and a half kilograms, and uh, this is the percentage that he got. He's still waiting in the queue, and there we go. He's filling in. He needs to go to 100%. Okay, so this is how long it takes him to shop. Uh, you can see time here. Okay. Okay, shop seems to have resolved the issue backlog of the shoppers, so that's fine. Pub tavern should be resolved. I think it's more... They should be... It should be easy for them to get around. Because everything is connected with pathways, so they should go fast. Um, power supply, how is this happening now? Yeah, it's operating without issues and without workers as well. To get more, more workers to this town. Okay, uh, the third big migration. It's either here or Siberia, guys. You choose. So, Siberia is better for them. I'm gonna call Comrade Stalin in a second if you don't queue up whoever is volunteering to leave. Volunteer. <laughs> okay, since there's no specific thing that we need in, in a in the way of um, uh, which workers do we need, because everything is uh, more or less resolved. Um, I will be just randomly uh, getting people to move here. Okay. Maybe the same again. No, you're actually full. Okay, and this is another test I want to do now, so if I move them all, because all other issues are resolved, if I populate this town... Oh, oh come on, press the wrong button. If I populate this town all the way, uh, does it mean that uh, shops are gonna, gonna get clogged? Because previously they were all probably having issue with uh, getting to the hospital, now they can. Uh, now they can just go and fill in their needs as they wish. So how does these numbers, how do they reflect what's happening in town? So this guy, 16 people, went, wanted to go to church or they had in their plan, shopping, hospital, church. They did shopping, let's say clothes, they went to hospital, they didn't get healing and they didn't get uh, to go to church because they were waiting for too long to get to hospital. So technically you should give them everything that they want, but the problem comes with the pub. And uh, I saw a couple of uh, YouTubers that uh, they did their own research and uh, the, the, what the research found that it's better for you not to give them alcohol. Doesn't matter if they're not happy that, that so they don't have alcohol they'll get over it, but it's better not to have alcohol because average lifespan is gonna uh, increase. So for example, average lifespan at the moment is 64.3 and it should be growing rapidly because <clears throat> we gave them everything that they need at the moment. Uh, we'll just monitor this, of course, um, backlog here. 
and not enough workers working and now we're down to one <clears throat> so this is this is creating problems for them if we choose this person so they have to get food and they need to visit the doctor the doctor is on the other side of the town and they still can't get food because uh, there's not enough shop um, yeah well, obviously we're gonna have to do something with this we do have this small shop uh, i think this is perfect size because people don't go often here but food i think they don't go i think they go almost every day if no, maybe not but it's the most common place that they visit so we need to focus on that and uh oh thank you. oh good lord thank you uh the temperatures are going up the snow is melting and um okay I'm not saying the crisis averted, it's still uh, heating is going to be a problem and uh, it's going to be a huge problem. But for now, I think we, we're kind of out of the woods. Uh, obviously, school is a problem. Yeah, we need more educated people. Uh, we can lower the amount of doctors we have to, let's say, 10. And maybe then the professors are going to go to school and work there. And, uh, well, in the future, we're going to focus to have this all um, fixed and uh, have functioning lines from here to um, to Hellendorf, to Hallendorf, to have the students transported there. And I, I can't even imagine what's happening here. Actually, these guys are fine. There's a whole bunch of people here. <laughs> I was like, okay, the whole winter, like most of the winter, this was full. I was like, yes, now we're gonna have all the gravel in the world. No, we won't. Right, um, what did we say we wanted to do here? Distribution office. Um, did I put distribution office? Yes, I did. Here we go, and it's finished. Perfect. So, this is gonna be distribution office that is gonna give us more money, and I'm gonna invest in it straight away. We have um, just under just over 15 minutes left in this episode, so we're gonna start um, exporting stuff. I'll be exporting all of it. I'm gonna be exporting boards, bricks, and, um, and uh, prefab panels uh, as much as we can. Uh, but we're gonna be regulating this. Oof, how do I see? How do, how do we address this? We're gonna be. Um, I'm gonna be exporting source materials, so from the source building, so in this case from here, uh, because it holds a lot of it. Uh, boards, th these materials here in these um, uh, storages, I don't even know how to sell them because because I have to select the central point, and if I say like uh, less than 80%. I don't know if they count the limited part of uh, storage. So uh, I'm thinking that the best thing would be to sell 50% of the storage of the producing factories. So in this case, it would be bricks, prefabs, and um, boards. So let's see, this is a test project, and I want to uh, open how. And I'm gonna go for, I'm thinking of six of those. And uh, let's let's say just it's not enough, of course. But this is just a test. So um, source uh, has to have. Oh, okay. So source buildings are this, this. Oh, and cement as well. Uh, cement maybe requires a covered hollow, but that's fine. Um, uh, source buildings. Okay, those are source buildings. Why are you? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, none of you are these, so... Oh, I'll, Actually, it doesn't matter, but fine, I'll, I'll do it like this. Uh, all of you are source buildings, and then uh, this is gonna be the unload building, yes. So, we need um, source buildings to be under... Destination buildings. Obviously, we can't really change that. Um, source buildings under or over 50%? Uh, over 50%, okay. S as soon as they have 50%, export. And I think they should be already on the way. They are on the way. Okay, and I'm um, pretty sure that cement is transported in the covered hulls. Might be wrong. Oh, no, 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 cement is in cement trucks. Oh, I might be down for that, 7 tons of cement, but it's a little bit on the slow side. 
Uh, I'm betting Americans don't have any cement trucks yet. Over. So cement, cement, cement. Cement is the cheapest one I think of all the resources that we are considering for export here. So uh, let's just cover this one more time. So we're going to be exporting um, two, two, two prefab panels, 26 rubles per ton, and then we have steel. That looks weak. Then we have boards, 27 and a half. That's even more expensive. That's surprising. And then we have, uh, we have cement, 43. Actually, cement is not bad. I thought it was cheaper. And um, prefab panel, bricks. Bricks. Bricks are the second one. Second most. Um, second best. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go and export all of that stuff and I'm thinking of exporting the cement now. I'm just worried about the traffic to this town, especially if I put this 62 km per hour vehicle. I mean like for long run we can definitely just, you know, a lot of cities do that, tunnel under here, over these hills and connect it there. And unfortunately these roads are horrible, because they always were, and I will be upgrading them. So. I will do not like this, I'm gonna do it manually and in time, because all of them have pathways elsewhere, and you don't need this, you don't, oh boy, what do this? Uh, I already see this causing problems, but um, uh, I wanna upgrade these roads, and then I'm gonna upgrade the rest of them as well. You can do that gradually, and fine with that, and I do remember, I think this one's Thousand problems, so we'll build this one with our own money. Um, what about the small gravel pads? Okay, obviously, this is going to have to be built because this is the only access to this house. More small houses, people. Meat food, meat food, meat food. I still, I'm just avoiding this uh, issue. Actually, it doesn't seem like it's an issue again, but it will be in just a second. Yeah, this is running at capacity, so it's not ideal. But uh, looks like the people are not running away that fast anymore, so that should be okay. Uh, school, uh, pretty fine. So we need bigger school, we need bigger shop. And those are the two things I can see that's wrong with this town. Culture, sport, all that stuff, guys, I don't care. You have it. You have all the pathways connected, so roads shouldn't be interfering with you accessing any of the buildings. So that should be fine. The rest of the buildings are upgraded. Then we're gonna upgrade these for exports. Oh, and uh, obviously, oh, wait, they're using this one. Ooh, ooh, they're already coming here. Is that the first one? Yep, 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 that's the first one. Uh, what do we export? Bricks. 7.2 tons of bricks. Yeah, this is gonna be slow process, but it's gonna be... Look, guys, th this is exports. We're exporting, and this is the most important thing in the world right now. Getting those finances up and running. It's spring, and we're gonna focus fully. Maybe even the loans are gonna be involved here, but we'll see. Um, this town, not in next episode, but this is gonna be our main focus. We're getting some workers here, uh, we're not getting anybody else here, so uh, that's sad. Do we have Shkoda coming here? No. We're gonna have to... I, I have no idea what I did, I forgot what I did with the two bosses. You, attention, or You're doing this intentionally. Go away. Um, okay, did he move? Why did he move? That's interesting. That's actually quite good. He moved this way so they can go on the faster track, but they would be able to bypass it there anyway. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay, so we have this road finished. We paid for that one. All these roads are asphalt, asphalt, so we have asphalt everywhere. Except here. And this is something that I'm not going to be able to... Uh, build on their own because this is the only bridge across here and uh, yes 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 exports baby exports uh, bigger shop bigger shop uh, queues uh, yes kinda 
Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe If we're running at the capacity, I'm fine with this. I can handle this. I think the happiness... Give me a number. Uh, you need to give me a number of this. I can't... I don't have a number. Um, uh, looks like it's getting results. Sports, pub, tavern, meat. Uh, they, they, have, they should have all that. And uh, I shouldn't get that. I think we should remove the alcohol or limit the alcohol consumption to, let's say, one worker. And if he's there, fine. If he's not, it's up to you. Just like, you know, you have alcohol, but you have to drink in specific times. Oh, like real world. <laughs> At least in art. Uh, oh, bollocks. Ah, that was wrong. So many levels. Okay, let's check this. Um, call processed well two of them are unloading at the same time and they don't have any problems processing that thank you people because this is this is saved the whole project so having this uh, transformer station so this is unloading uh, properly now uh, we have one more boat but uh, I'm not dealing with that until we get uh, uh, oh this is full and this one is half full so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna be needing a little bit of it, but uh, not, not much. Okay, uh, right. Let's uh, let's recap what we did. We have uh, just under ten minutes, and let's see what we did. Uh, whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh, one more thing I have to uh, test here. You guys said that this is the how they can uh, firefighters can access. This. Oh, I don't think construction crews can access this thing. Uh, actually, why wouldn't they? This looks like it's totally doable. That's what he said. Um, right, so this looks like it's going places. This one. Oh, not money. bit by bit and we're gonna get there uh, connected 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 obviously this is not gonna be connected this way but uh, I might, oh, I might connect it this way This is connected, and here we should have easier connection going downhill. Uh, yes, I'm betting just you're being having uh, your, your bad days of the year, but we will catch you. Okay, let's remove this one, and slowly let's go down. I'm fine with this. Uh, so, whenever you get to it, please make it so. And then this one? Yeah, this is not going anywhere. <laughs> I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> oh boy, it can go somewhere. Yeah, this is just too much, uh, too much rock to move, and uh, I don't think this is the smartest thing that I'm doing it here. And uh, I'm, I'm really goes against my religion to do this. To, to do this, and, uh, religion is uh, being I don't know, lazy, efficient. Uh, holding this button for a while is definitely not the solution to this problem. 
I don't know, I might do it off screen, I might... No, I, it's not gonna be the only one that's not gonna be finished, I mean, like, look at this one. It's the, it's the same situation here. If I can get a green uh, road uh, instantly, I don't think it's worth uh, doing this bit by bit. Or maybe I'm gonna do it off screen, we'll see. Uh, but looks like they're going up and down uh, the mountainside. That's really, really good, I'm really happy to see that. Uh, right, what else will, uh, hap is happening here? Okay, this road is being finished, that's fine. They're gonna start on these roads. Uh, there's one small bit here, unfortunately. Uh, how much does this cost? Two thousand. Wow, where the money goes? What's with the money, people? You need to... S what? What did I do? Okay, let me just check real quickly. <clears throat> this, uh, what did we uh, import? Steel. What am I building? I'm building stuff. Son of a gun. Um, right, fuel, steel, uh, food, food, hopefully in the next couple of episodes we're gonna resolve all the food issues, clothes, that's for future episodes. And of course, uh, this is the thing I was telling you about that has an issue with this road. No access to it. You're lying. Oh, yeah, actually. So do I give them this? How much this costs? Yeah, this is this is the thing that um, I created a problem. Actually, I probably can just reassign it or reassign it or something. Um, for now, this is fine. Let, let them do their own thing. And let them do their people and whatever they need to do. Um, mines should be working. Uh, backlog. Uh, we have some backlog. We can use more people here. Obviously, uh, let's see. Population, population, population. Population is fine. It's not to 100%, they have room to expand, that's perfect. I'm betting they're gonna have a lot of students. Uh, well, not that many, I think reshuffling people took a toll. I'm pretty sure it took a toll. Uh, right, our trucks are exporting. Uh, let's check how much did we earn. Um, let's say this year and uh, let's say exports, let's see. Nothing. <laughs> we exported. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm worried that they're gonna take more fuel than they're gonna get with the exports, but... Uh, yeah, what's with the bricks here? Hey, that's fine. I, I don't know what to say. That's fine. Um, I'm thinking that bricks are being used elsewhere. Yes, we are building these buildings, so they're not exporting bricks. They're just delivering all these bricks. Yeah, there's 44 ton bricks here, 45 here. And uh, yeah, I should have done the same this building as well. Uh, right, good. So let's go something like this. Uh, something like this. So, and we have uh, the same thing here. Since they have to end the week and construct this, and I will build both this one, this one, this one this long one here. Uh, they can construct the rest of it. Uh, I will just give them blueprints what to do. Okay, recap. Uh, disaster. Disaster seems to be slightly under control. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm already seeing this area and this road being cluttered with uh, trucks and buses and transports, uh, so in the future you might need expansion. Uh, construction offices, it's easy to move, petrol station, all that stuff. Um, but I need a plan. Uh, I might build something like we have a road going from here and then bypass here and then bypass all the way a new bridge and to the border and then have access roads here as well yeah that's not a bad idea luckily well unluckily sorry uh we don't have time for this now i'm thinking like uh what would be good i'm maybe removing this and building something like this is what i'm thinking about uh something like here but it, it will be a continuation of this road maybe happening with the terrain here. Something like this. And then start with this. And 
then here and then bridge over here maybe bridge here and then intersection to connection to town and then tunnel until here and then bridge here and then border crossing um, I'm not sure if it warrants this much construction the whole thing because it's uh, it's gonna cost a lot of money and uh, the only thing we're gonna be exporting at least as far as I can see it would be something like uh, bricks and prefabs and stuff like that so for now this is just a plan that I might implement uh, hopefully you can comment on this and tell me what you think about it uh, but that's about it I'm not really sure what else we can do anyway um, it was a rough one guys sorry about this this disaster I mean you can't always make it go smoothly so hopefully you're not gonna take it against me uh, we forcefully relocated a lot of people. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that, though. And, uh, yeah, looks like uh, we averted... The, well, we postponed the demise of our Republic, but uh, for how long? Well, we'll see in the future. Guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye.